The Wine and She Show is a Metaverse and NFT discussion interview series brought to you by Metaverse Ventures Entertainment and host Ben 68 and More Cheese. Warning, the information and opinions within are solely the views of the individuals involved contains content not suitable for anyone. One is a wanker, one's like it's Thomas, one's from Australia, one's from the Bronx. Snack size. Crapopolis is set in a mythical ancient Greece and tells a story of a dysfunctional family of humans, <laughs> gods, and monsters that try their hand at running the world's first cities without trying to kill each other. Okay. Um, not gonna... I mean, I'm probably going to watch it. I got to say. I, I watch Futurama every night. Before that, it was Family Guy and American Dad. I am, I am a... Uh, a big fan of adult cartoons so you know one just released on netflix that i I came up with an animated series and wrote the pilot and put a series of that were going to be children's books together it's one of the projects i've had in the folder in under one of the kids rooms in a buried in a storage box for geez 10 years maybe um, it was called The Thorn Bottoms, and it was about a family of humans that crash land on an alien planet, and they try and... Because, you know, it was a kind of flip on... Most of the things we see is the alien lands on Earth, and they're all weird, like Alf or Third Rock from the Sun and that sort of thing. But my idea was to flip it around and have the Earth, the Earthlings essentially trapped on another planet. Well, I was reading the description for this new series that dropped on Netflix and my jaws dropped open. I'm like, holy crap, this is like exactly my show. <laughs> God damn it. Well, maybe we yeah. should do like a, a, a like a cartoon comic for you. Like set you up and, and have you like do your own NFTs and stuff. That would be so cool. Uh, I, if, it was already in progress. It was already happening. Like I had some, it was with, you know, I've shown you. Um, examples of my artist friend Stefan Wittick like some of the stuff he does he's the guy that did the art for me on my game Pootie Pie and that sort of thing so yeah it was already well and truly in progress but it's just one of the it's one of those things where it just it's a time-based thing you know I just don't have the time to do all of these projects well I want to read it uh sometime if you find the time to send it my way I'm interested oh yeah it's I, I can send you the first one it's easy to do it's just a pdf um so what do we got here anyway so viewers will be able to purchase and collect nft crap chickens that unlock (laughs) exclusive utility and social media credits ah all right so they're including real life experiences within how can you have a real life experience within crapopolis Uh, they're gonna have their own metaverse but that's not a real life experience. That's a metaverse experience. I mean, let's keep reading. I'm interested. I want to go to Kropopolis. <laughs> In addition to being one of history's earliest forms of currency, the Crap Chickens NFTs will give collectors access to Crapopolis, burgeoning <laughs> digital ancient civilizations such as token gated access to content and private screening Ooh, rooms, entry see? to Discord channels, invitations to meet and greets with cast and producers. Told you. Merchandise. This sounds like the setup for a pump and dump freaking crypto token. I don't know. I, I think it's amazing. Kropopolisk.com will drop 10,420 crap chickens in total. Okay, so they're copying board apes. Sure, yep. Okay, Why 10,420? Because that's how many seconds it would take a chicken to run a marathon. <laughs> Obviously. Is this, this is a, this is a joke, right? <laughs> no. This is a this, joke. No. Wasn't there 10,000? Isn't that, how many board know. apes were there? Wasn't there 10,000? I don't know. Each And I, they're, 420? They're, Come on, 420, you know what that means. They're having a laugh, Ben. Obviously, oh wait, each minted NFT will be unique, produced and illustrated by Kropopolis animators and generated from a wide range of attributes with varying degrees of rarity. All NFT artwork will originate directly from content that appears in the program. In addition to being one of the most groundbreaking storytellers in the business, Dan is a master at cultivating fan and engagement and building community viewers uh blah 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 the first collection of Kropopolis nfts and a new utility will they will provide represent the early beginnings of how dan and other creators harness web3 to open the door and bring audiences closer to their content than before 
set to premiere on Fox in 2023, oh, just next year, and created by Harmon, Kropopoulos features the voices of Emmy Award winner Hannah Waddington, I don't know who that is, Richard Aote, oh, I know Richard Aote, <gasps> all right, I love this already, he's the guy from the IT crowd, he had uh, the big hair, he was the nerd, I actually had a crush on that guy, probably still do. Matt Berry, What We Do in the Shadows. If you haven't watched that show, that show is amazing. Uh, Pam Murphy. I don't know her. Duncan Trussell. Don't know him. Duncan her Trussell's amazing. He's he's really good. See, you're getting into this too. You I, I'm calling bullshit thing. on this article. No. I'm just going to pull. No. I'm calling bullshit. No. Kerpopolis is produced keep, keep by going. Fox Entertainment's Emmy winning animation studio. Fanta Box Entertainment. No, this is bullshit. No, it's not. The program this is fully owned by Fox Entertainment. Jordan Young is executive producer, showrunner, working on their blah, blah, blah. I think this is going to be great. And I'm going to crapopolis.com right now. I think this is a load of shit. I checked. There are 10,000 Bored Ape NFTs. And they've just added the 420 name on because, you know, that whole 420 bloody reference. I think so this is what? a load of that shit. That was their funny way of putting a spin on it. I think this is like a, this is like a an nickel. April Fool's freaking thing. Let's bet a nickel. I don't have nickels. Let's bet one up X. Uh, 20 up X because it's easier to send, do a send. Visit right. fee. 20 up X. 20 up X. You heard it right. here, folks. <laughs> I call crap on this this thing. No I way. think it, I think it's a joke. I think it's a joke. I don't think so. I think it's awesome and amazing. We shall see. All right. I'm getting out of here before I have an epileptic fit with that gif. <laughs> I, I and you could get them on uh rareable and open C. So I'm guessing it's, a, it's an ETH or polygon type thing. I think it's either a pump and dump scam or it's a it's just a joke. So we'll see. So we'll, we'll, hang on a minute before we go on with this bet, because you know I am a tight ass 20, 20 OPEX. I'm not going to just let that go on a willy nilly sort of thing. <laughs> It's got to be some pretty solid, rock solid. Um, what's the word? Oh, I'm going to arbitrate this bet. I'm, I'm, I'm arbitrating this bet, okay? You're yes. arbitrating. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Goldie. So I, I want to see Cheese has to have a Crapopolis NFT in her wallet and there has to be some utility for it. And then, and only then, will you win your 20 OPEX. What? That's a lot. That's a lot. No, it's what not. It's they, exactly what they, what they like, said. No, it's going to probably be like 0.01 ETH or 0.05 ETH or something crazy like that. Well, so gonna, okay. So 80 bucks, 100 bucks. Yeah. All right. So you don't need to have it. If you if you want to be a tight ass and you don't want to actually, <laughs> in, if you don't want to invest in it to win your 20 UPEX, then you need to be able to prove that somebody else does and that there right. is utility. And if I can, I'll, I'll try my best to buy one. I have some sales from my Polygon stuff that I can use to, to, to put towards yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just calling total bullshit on that. <laughs> I think, who's, who sent us that? Cassandra, was that hers? I think she's trying to set us up. <laughs> I think she's trying to set us up for success. Thank you, Cass. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs>